Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 37 of the Karen Knits podcast. My name is Karen and I'm coming to you from South Central Pennsylvania where I live, where I work, where I knit and where I get into all kinds of other crafty shenanigans. Today is Saturday, October 24th, 2020 and we have a gorgeous fall day. It's pretty cloudy and overcast today. There's been a bit of a breeze, but the temperatures have been amazing. Uh, we had a bit of rain earlier this morning. It looks like it could start raining again this evening, but hey, I'm hunkered down inside. I don't, I don't mind. I do have the windows open to get some nice fresh air in, so uh, yeah, I love this time of year, in case you haven't heard that in a previous episode. <laughs> Anyways, so if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for coming by and checking out my podcast. I hope you enjoy it here. I'm so happy to have you. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back for another week to see what kind of what kind of crafting shenanigans I've been up to in the past week. I'm happy to have you here too. Thank you so much for coming back week after week to see what I'm up to. I tried filming this already. <laughs> I had no luck. Oh my goodness. Either I was yawning nonstop through half the things I was saying, so I've I've got some caffeine going now, so that should help. And I had a little bit of sugar too. And so hopefully I won't be hopefully I won't be fighting the yawning tendencies now. And then I was partway through filming and there was a whole pile of vehicles going back and forth up and down Main Street honking their horns but they it really did interrupt my train of thought when I was trying to try to videotape and it was pretty noisy and distracting so I went and started a batch of soup for supper and came back and now it's it seems to have settled down now so hopefully hopefully they're done going up and down the main drag in town now so anyway, <laughs> what else? I think that's about all that's new. It's been a busy week as per usual. I've had a lot of school things to to work on. I've had lots of grading to get done as usual. I'm so looking forward to the Thanksgiving break, even though it's three weeks, four weeks away. Too far away. <laughs> it's, it's always by this time of year I'm starting to get tired. But I am also starting to think of things that I want to do for my annual Thanksgiving week whip it down. And I'll, I'll talk more about that in subsequent episodes. But basically what I do, since I have a little over a week off work, technically we have a week off from the school is closed, classes are off for a week during Thanksgiving. But I typically unofficially announce that my Thanksgiving break begins on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving <laughs> break when I'm done teaching um, when I'm done teaching my last class for the week. So when I'm done at 3:45 on Wednesday, whatever that date is this year, I'm officially on I'm unofficially on spring break and enjoy my break until we go back a week Monday. So I'm off for about 11, 11 days, 10, 11 days. And during that time, what I typically tend to do is I like to spend a good solid chunk of each day focusing on one of my knitting work in progress, works in progress. So I will, right now I have four, yeah, I have four projects that I'm working on. Tenya, my, uh, my Dread Square scrap blanket, scrap wrap, my slip extravaganza shawl, and my sorta, sh sorta shorty socks. Christmas socks. So right now, right now I have four, four whips. We'll see what I have by then. So typically what I would do is I would put them into rotation. So on the Thursday, I would focus on all my knitting time for that day would be focused on project number one. F 
Friday I would spend all day, all my knitting time that day on project number two, and then three and then four, and then I'd cycle back. So I might be able to, and, and hopefully finish something up. My goal is this year I really would like to get my, um, my mitered square blanket done. It's, it's getting closer. Maybe what I will do this year for my whip it down week is maybe I'll just focus on that only. I haven't decided. So we'll, we'll think this through and I, I have three weeks to a month to, to contemplate this and, and decide on what exactly I want to do. But that's in the works and I always get excited for it. I typically do a short little vlog style video series during my whip it down week and I do a little bit of information and give you guys an update on or document what I've accomplished each day so keep your eye out for that um, that that's coming that's coming coming to the station or coming to this channel in probably less than a month so my works in progress that I'd like to talk about I did a tiny, tiny little bit on my sort of shorty socks. I, I did two rounds. So it's, it's actually not enough to, it's just not enough to even, even talk about. So, or show it's, uh, maybe I'll get some done in the next week and I'll have more to show you guys next week. But for now, the, the sort of shorty socks have, have seen zero pro virtually zero progress two rounds doesn't quite count when it when it comes to working on socks so my other work in progress that I've basically spent all my spare time this week working on is my slip stravaganza mystery shawl by Stephen West and as I mentioned this is a mystery shawl and the clues come out once a week usually once a week there was one sneaky bonus clue that came out the first week but the clues typically come out over the course of four Fridays in October. So the first clue came out on October 9th. Then there was a bonus clue that came out that Monday, which we didn't, we didn't, didn't expect that. Then the second clue came out on the 16th of October and clue number three came out yesterday on the 23rd of October and I have completed clue number one. I've completed the bonus. When you last saw last week, I was partway through the bonus clue. I think I was partway through. I don't think I had started. No, I was partway through the bonus clue. Um, so since, since then I've finished the bonus clue and I'm getting closer to halfway through clue number two. So as as I expected, as always happens with these mystery shawls, I'm behind. I always get behind. I just, I can't keep up. Between work commitments and home, other, other hobbies, other, other things, I just don't, I, I don't manage to keep up. So in that time, I've, on clue number two, I'm on row, I think 23 three out of 60 rows. So I'm, cl I'm getting closer to halfway done. I st but I have a long ways to go. <laughs> it's, there, there's still a lot to go. And each of those rows are now at a little over 400 stitches. So it takes a little while to get from, from one end all the way to the other end. And then the next row all the way back. It's, it is taking me a while to get through each and every row. So let me just tell you a little bit more about this, this pattern. It's again, it's a pattern by Stephen West. I'm using 3.25 millimeter needles or a US size three, and I'm using Holst Super Soft yarn. Now the pattern calls for one main color plus three contrast colors. And these are ones I've, sh I've showed you these before. This is my main color, the the yellowish color. This is the color is called pineapple. My first 
contrast color is sugar snap then geranium medium pink and then a dark reddish pink is carmine so those are my three colors that i'm using for this shawl and i'm it's a, a well, medium subtle um variation especially between between these these two the first and second contrast color the light and medium but i'm happy with how it's looking so now i don't want people to have the surprise ruined if they're still working on the shawl so i'm going to put up a little a spoiler alert screen up here in just a second before i show actually show you my knitting and i'll also put a little note at the bottom to let you know what time it's safe to come back and look if you do want to keep this a surprise if you're if you're farther behind in knitting than i am and you'd like to have it remain a mystery for you or if you're planning on casting on in the future and you want it to remain a mystery and remain a surprise i'll put a note up here i'll have it go to a black screen with a spoiler alert and a time that it's safe to come back so if you are if you want to keep it a surprise and you don't want to see what it looks like quite yet look away now and i'll let you know when it's safe to come back so here's where we are right now it kind of looks like a scrunchy bunchy mess with as as shawls tend to look until they've been blocked. But this part here, from my fingers and downward, is the first clue. And that included the main color plus contrast one and three. The lightest, I used the lightest and darkest. Then clue number two, which I was partway through last week, is this portion here up until this bef up until we start this this band of um the our my main color and this was the the main color plus the middle contrast color contrast two and so i finished that clue last week or since last week this is my progress since last week i was at the point where this blue marker is so it was about halfway through the bonus clue or section two of the shawl when you saw it last week now the clue for clue number two last week's clue incorporates all four colors and this is again up into roughly it'll look a lot nicer once it's it's blocked but i'm just kind of trying to show you as best i can as as is so this one uses all of the all of the colors it uses the there's a main color separation between each of the bands so it uses the main color then the lightest then main then medium then the main and then the darkest color and then it cycles through those three again light medium and dark and then i think it has one more with the the main color light and then the main color again i think i'm going on memory on that part. <laughs> so um so it's, it's coming along nicely it'll look so much nicer once it's all it's all blocked out um it's it's you're safe to look back now if you've been if you've been looking away you're you're safe to come back and look again now So it's, it's coming along nicely. Like I say, I'm about halfway through clue number two or section three. Then clue number three came out yesterday morning. And that includes section four and section five. So I'm getting behind her. <laughs> so, but I, I knew I would. I, like I say, between other commitments, I just... And the fact that I'm not necessarily the fastest knitter and the fact that each row there's in this 
for example, in this section there were there's 60 rows and there's over 400 stitches per row. So that's a boatload. <laughs> that's a boatload of stitches. That's an awful lot of stitches. So I'm hoping to finish clue number two over the next few days. No promises, no guarantees. I would like to have clue number three started before clue number five, the, or clue number four, the final clue comes out. I'd like that. I don't know if it'll happen, but <laughs> we'll, we'll try. And I haven't looked at what clue number three looks like yet. There is a little YouTube video that gives you a bit of a mini tutorial on what it looks like and what some of the the stitch the stitch patterns and things are. I haven't looked at that and I haven't opened up I haven't updated my pattern on Ravelry yet. So I have not seen the next clue yet. I I will wait until I'm done clue number two before I take a look at clue number three. And then once clue number, once I'm working on clue number three and the final clue comes out, I might sneak a peek at the final clue before I finish clue three. We'll see. We'll, we'll play it by ear. But either which way, I'm behind, but I'm happily knitting. So I should have a chance to get a fair bit of knitting done this evening. We're planning on watching a somewhat longer movie. It's about, movie's about two hours and 20 minutes, roughly. So I'm hoping I can just focus on getting a goodly chunk of knitting done on that this evening. And hopefully I'll get, I'll, I'll knock a little bit more out of that section. We'll see. Um, Sunday, I. I might have some time to get a fair bit done late afternoon, evening. We'll, we'll see. Uh, this, I don't know. I don't know. But I do want to keep plugging along with it. I'm, I'm loving the knit. I'm really excited to see what the next clue looks like. So I can see what the shape is going to continue to develop as. I'm hoping it continues along with the same general shape it's going now because I, I'm so far, I'm absolutely loving the shawl. I always take my chance when I do one of Stephen West's mystery shawls because some of his patterns are not necessarily to my taste. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, they, they look really cool, but they're often they're not something I'm, I'm going to wear. So I'll happily make them and I'll give them away as a gift. For me, a lot of the fun of knitting is the process. I actually think I'm probably a little bit more of a process knitter than a product knitter. I love the process. I enjoy working on my knitting. Once I get to the final product, I'm just kind of like, eh, okay, now what? Um, I really enjoy the actual process of doing the knitting. So there's that. Now, I think about the only other thing I had to to talk about tonight. Tonight it is. It's a quarter to five. It's it's getting really late. Um, I think about the only other thing I had to talk about today is um, some stash acquisition. I've had one new skein of yarn that's come into my house in the past week, and that is my knit crate sock crate yarn for October 2020 and I did film an unboxing video a few days ago I think it came on Monday or Tuesday a couple days a, a few days earlier this week so I I did film that and that is up on my channel and this is the yarn that came in the crate so this is Luxury Luxury Sock by Audine Woods Wools. Yeah, Audine Wools. And the yarn is the colorway is slip. 
The yarn is 75% merino, 15% nylon, 10% cashmere, and it's 400 yards for 100 gram skein. So it's a really pretty, soft, soft yarn. This is a really pretty yarn. I really like this. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet. It might be a pair of socks. I don't know. It might be a small cowl. I don't know yet. I'll have to, I'll have to spend some time contemplating that. And who knows when I'll have time to start it up also. That's, that's the other issue. So I think that's about it for today. Might be a little bit shorter an episode today. It's been a fairly quiet week. It's again, I spent the vast majority of my time this week knitting on this shawl and loving it. But I also expect that the next week is probably going to be a lot of the same. It'll be more shawl in the next week, uh, which is fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. So I think that's about it for today. I need to go and stir my soup that's cooking in the kitchen. I can smell it all the way down to the opposite end of the, the apartment. It's smelling yummy. And start thinking about getting a few things ready to put together for supper. The hubby should be home from work probably within the next 15 minutes. So I should probably finish videotaping and get off here so that I'm not having to hear him holler when he comes in and announcing that he's home. So, um, with that, I think I will sign off for now and I will see you guys again next week. Take care everyone. Happy knitting. Bye.